ku dede asiko yi o ni le loko hey guys uh today i would be talking about yoruba beliefs igbagbo yoruba and specifically i will be talking about yoruba beliefs on the days of the week igbagbo yoruba ni pa won ojo se igbagbo yoruba ni pa won ojo se in the beginning when the irumoles orishas were on earth they didn't count time or have clocks or have names for days they just woke up went to their different destinations or did their different tasks and went back to sleep when it got dark the darkness that night brings was there to let them know that it was time to rest or sleep so naturally when you're working and you cannot see anymore and you know cuz you know when night falls you don't see stuff outside anymore um you know that naturally it's time for you to maybe go in and chill till light comes back on or till the day comes back on so darkness was the only way of telling the time in quotes to let them know that it was time to go to rest or time to go to sleep so obatala also known as baba rugbo or orishala because of his great wisdom understanding and knowledge gentleness and depth and love for purity was the only was the one sorry who went to heaven to get days from olodumare god all knowing so it was obatala that thought being the being a very like wise irumole he thought if like we can't count days how can we be like productive or how can how can any of this this world make you know have any meaning you know if you can't if there's no time or there there are no days or a king card back king card koko the life would just be pretty useless it is a very wise deity so he went to heaven and he was given four days so the traditional yoruba calendar the kojoda may the days be clear or clearly foreseen that's the meaning had and still has a four day week and 91 weeks in a year however the four days were not sufficient for the deity's worship they needed more days so day one day two day three was not and day four were not just enough for the worship or the honor of each Irumole that was present then and are still present so three more days were added to make them seven so Isa, Itadogun and Onu were added those are uh, the worship days that were added so so um so it was just the one day to do for different and the names that we have for days now were not available then so it was Onumila that went to Orishala and asked if it was possible to get names for days so that people would not just say they want day two day three day four or Anno or any Anno is yesterday any is today or lies tomorrow like apart from that he thought each day should have their own names Onumila is a very creative Irumole orisha so it's not a surprise that he did that so after their discussion the names were named and we're going to talk about the specific names for the day right now the first day is sunday ojo aiku ojo means day aiku is to not die or immortality if you will so sunday is ojo aiku ijo rere ni ojo yi it is a good or happy day for relaxing and doing good things in preparation for Monday. Iku is death and Aiku is not dying. So it is a day for enjoying life, praying for a good or long life and resting. On this day, the people of the earth requested for immortality from Olodumare. Orumila, a close confidant of Olodumare, Olodumare is God, refused to make the required propitiation and he was unable to bring immortality, Aiku, for all inhabitants of earth and people had to die. Fortunately, premature death can be prevented by praying and giving the necessary offerings to Olodumare through the required deity on this day. This day is also called Ojoisimi which means rest in regular yoruba language but is from the words isin imi the burial of imi 
is seen is like burial is seen is burial Imi was the mother of Eshu and there are different issues there's issue Lali there's issue Pileke there's issue different issues that issue Odara to be specific what happened was Eshu Odara went on a journey and before he came back his mother had been buried Orumila was the Irumwale that buried Imi on the day that we now call Sunday it is seen is a verb in Yoruba and it has different mean, meanings. So isin is the noun, sin is the verb. So isin could mean many things, but sin, sin is what I want to focus on. So sin, sin could mean domesticate or raise. I made two videos earlier. One was on the names of domesticated animals and the other was on 15 reasons why we raise animals. So I mentioned that we, we raise them for sacrifice, we raise them for companionship, we raise them for many things. I mentioned that in that video so you may want to check that out but say it could mean could mean domesticate or raise say it could mean worship say it could mean bury and say it could mean tolerate or endure so sierra ko is raise animals sion laru is worship god sioku is bury the dead see like if someone if someone is a naughty person and you and you tell someone else ah, like this is what we have to bear or endure or tolerate it is not the day of Amy's worship like I've mentioned earlier you may choose to give offerings to Eshua Dara for Amy on that day out of your own volition but it's not but it's on this day sorry that we remember that Amy was laid to rest and it is on this day that we pray for long life and we rest ourselves okay so that's it for sunday on monday it's the most important day of the week as we all know monday is called ojuaje ojuaje ijore relati bere tabishe nkon pataki bi ojatita ile hiko tabi igbe yawo jore relati bere tabishe nkon pataki ni ojuaje it is the day that money and sales first came to earth before then, if people needed something, they engaged in exchanges, trade by barter. So before the concept of money came to earth, before people began to like use calories, because before we had notes, we used calories, sometimes we used like precious precious certain precious stones or whatever like long before but i'm pretty sure that in, for a long time we yoruba people used um away or we used um calories so what do i mean by trade by barter well if you had a goat i could give you like a plate of or a bag of food or if you had a fish i could give you a piece of meat if you so that was what we had before we had money so it is a good day for starting a business a building project engaging in sales starting a marriage or doing anything important really for blessings from orisha j j is that orisha of wealth or money and the deity of wealth or success that resides in the marketplace so it was aj it was orisha j that brought like the concept of money or the exchange of money for with uh, sorry for items we believe that if you meet people with evil omen early on a monday morning aj will desert you instantly before you even start your transactions for the day so there are certain people that we call like olori buruku those ones if if you see them and you're just waking up we believe that you, you should probably just go back to bed and sleep again Lord just because uh, those, those are just bearers of misfortune traders are often greeted with the question or <laughs> it's a little bit of a tongue twister or on Mondays or any other days because Ajay is the Irumole of wealth. She greatly blesses wherever she resides with. Hey Pajeo, Ajay fiye de no fiye de ku fiye de gu barakwa fiye mi she gu geo. So anyway, she's the um deity. I think she's considered a female deity or female energy of wealth. So the reply to Shajewa or Shaje Bubaje, Shajewa is did Ade did Ajay visit? Did you sell? Because when Ajay visits, you sell more. Or Shaj Shaje Bubaje, which means did Ajay like 
uh, VC, did you sell? Buigbaje means like eat your stuff, eat your products, like which means did she visit basically? Um, if you translate, and I was trying to translate right, but a translation is also good. So the reply to those those questions, their question greetings, Shajewa, Shajebubaje would be Adukbe Eshe, which is we, we are thankful. Adukbe, we are thankful. Eshe is thank you. So there are certain taboos for Mondays or expectations for Mondays. So on a Monday morning, do not ask a Yoruba person or anyone really to pay back their debt, like their rent, or ask them to loan you any money. Even if it is for something as important as your father's burial, please don't. Two, do not pay a trader with your left hand, although you are a buyer and it's your money. Customers are not always right on Mondays use your right hand the third expectation is if a trader or service provider tells you that you are their first customer of the day don't begin to art or at all with them there is a belief that the first customer or deal will last till the end of the day so if it is a good ordeal there would be more good deals throughout the day and if it is a bad one there would be more bad ones another thing is customers or clients are expected Oh, sorry, I'm not expected to utter profanity around a Yoruba trader or service provider. So watch your profanity. Rather, they should approach them with a warm smile and with politeness. Okay? So traders or service providers want the first people who begin with them to buy from them, especially on a Monday morning. So they often offer good begins. You would often hear them say, Shemi Lowo. Like be my first customer or client. If you, if you're, if you're the first visitor to a trader on any day of the week, actually, but especially on a Monday, and you don't buy from them, they would almost literally beg you, like buy from me, or else there would be more people who would visit their stores throughout the day and would not buy. So your like the energy you're bringing to them is not good on Mondays. The average Yoruba person is meticulous. Every event could be interpreted to have a spiritual connotation. We believe a bad day on Monday could spell doom for the rest of the day. The observation ranges from who we saw and exchanged greetings with in the morning to the tone or behavior of our fellow workers, how good or bad the weather is, and so on on a Monday. Okay? So that's it for Monday. The next day is Tuesday. Ojo Ishegun. Ijoti o dara la tibereta bishe inkonti o ba le. This is the day that God gave us solutions or guidelines for battling or overpowering the earth's troubles. What to do and use to survive on this earth and be victorious against our enemies. Okay, so Wednesday is a little bit of a rough day and Tuesday is the day that we pray against evils that are likely to happen on Wednesdays. But when I get to Wednesday, I would mention that. Like I said, it is a good day for starting or doing something that is considered tough or difficult in order to succeed or be victorious. Ishegu means victory. In the olden days, physical battles against enemies took place on this day. So this one is a little bit like some believe this is true, some don't. But back then, Tuesdays were usually not considered ideal days for unions or joining two people together because it was a day of like settlements and victory and dealing with things and succeeding, not necessarily like a day for lovey dovey or a day for. So, they be some people believe that if you get married on this day, it would like. You're, you're, you want to join two things together, right? You're not you're not trying to separate them or settle them or like So it, some people believe that it's not an ideal day for marriage, but I really don't know like But or it might not even be true. Baba Elebubo would have More to say on this one. Baba Elebubo. Evil forces are overpowered on this day It is a good day to pray or make offerings against spiritual attacks and evil forces it is also a good day to start anything that leads to a better quality of life or a better standard of living. So Wednesday is Ojoru. Ojoru. So some say it is Ojoi Daru. That the word that uh, Ru in Ojoru is from Idaru. Like scattering, like 
turbulence turning everything upside down that's what igaru is but uh but the word ru itself has meaning so if there is like a pothole for instance if you've seen all those giant potholes and maybe it rained and the water was and water filled into the pot oh, there, there's water in that pot oh the surface of the water would kind of be clear you know and you would see yourself in the water you know because it would be clear but if you, you put your hand into the pot oh, and you mix it it becomes like cloudy like you don't see yourself anymore you sc you scatter this like you scatter the stillness of the water you like that is what the the word ru is if they say it means the water is not clear it's it has like too much sand and it's kind of muddy it's not clear as water should be so that's another meaning for ru so apart from it being like itself or joy daru or the day of scattering or the day of turning things up the day of turbulence it could also be the day of like disturbing the stillness of something so those are the two i don't know which of the two is like correct i don't know what the particular essay far that relates to this says about that but i know that those would be two those are the two like connotations that ojoru has or you get my point anyway so idaru could be scattering uh, or joy ojoru could be or joy daru the day of scattering and turning things upside down and ojoru could be the day of disturbing the peace or the stillness or something so those two meanings kind of relate both could apply to what wednesday is oh patakiti abadawone ni ojoy ima daru beni ojoy daru ni according to certain like yoruba beliefs or certain yoruba paths so this is the day that the evils that we now deal with in the world came to earth so troubles voila like frustrations or disturbances idamu death iku diseases are sicknesses i saw losses or for troubles or mistakes as she wounds or injuries is she sorrow or for pain or suffering in era grief ikonju egba egba is like uh, infliction came to earth so it was on wednesday that all this because before people did not die people did not like when the rumors were still on earth but it was on that day that those troubles came to earth so it you know i told you it was on a tuesday that god gave us the solutions to those troubles oh do this use that use kinecon leaf with kinecon leaf when you mix it together and you do this and you do that you would be fine so it was on a tuesday that god gave us these solutions but it was on a jury that we that all these troubles came to earth that's why we call it ojoru it is the day that calamities and problems and disrupt disruptions and confusions entered the world it is the day of confusion the day of scattering or tearing apart no important things were started on this day because it was believed that they would be scattered or would encounter a lot of trouble if they were so weddings were and should never be held on this day or they might end up in a disaster and lead to a separation or they might be fruit unfruitful sorry or problematic it is a good day to pray against all forms of evil thursday is the next day and it is called ojobo or ojobo is the day has arrived ojobo or ojo ashedai so ojo boy ojo boy is the day um to bo is to arrive so ojo bo the day that the names arrived so you can choose to write it separately ojo bo days arrived or you can use you can choose to write it ojo bo thursday there's whichever way you want to write it but people often write it as one word ojo bo ojo root is often written as one word so ijore re lati bere tabi se nkan pataki ni ojo yi bi ajodun o ayeye fun awon eniyan wa ti o ti ku awon baba nla wa egbe tabi awon orisha 
So major festivals are often kicked off on Thursdays because we believe that that's the day that the deities are like more active on earth, the day that they descend. With. So um, this is the day on which the names of the days arrived. Our ancestors and other recently departed souls visit their households on this day. This is why almost every important festival begins on a Thursday. So whether it be the Ocean Festival or Shogo Festival or Oya Festival, they usually kick off on a Thursday and usually last till like Sunday. And on Monday, people go back to their different destinations so it is a good day for doing good things this was the day that marriages or weddings were carried out in the old times. They, they celebrated weddings and stuff like on other days as well or even on mondays or whatever but like most people got married on thursdays or many people actually but um if what there it wasn't like oh strictly th you know right now with saturdays people get get married on saturdays now it's almost like in, it's in some sort of constitution or whatever because every marriage is like oh we're getting on getting married on a saturday i don't know maybe that's the day that people have t uh, have time i don't know but back then thursday was like the saturday that we have now it was the usual day mondays people had to work and face their businesses and whatnot um on tuesdays they had to do thursdays was the sunday was the saturday sorry that we now have and they believe that ancestors and recently departed souls were more active on that day so if a person had like i don't know a recently late father and they chose to get married on a thursday they would believe that their late father's spirit if god allowed allowed yeah that to happen would like witness the wedding too would be there as well so that was that was the belief that spirits were more active on that day thursday is also called ojoa shedai or ojoa shedai and children that were born on thursdays were usually called ojobo so if you got if you if a child was born on thursday they would be called ojobo 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 that was the name actually friday is ojoeti Ojoeti, Ojoli Leni Ojoi. It is the day of delay, and the ancestors noticed that there usually is and was a lack of drive for work or strenuous activities on this day, hence the name that it was given. So they would notice that, like, if they made plans for Friday, somehow those plans would not come to fruition, or if they were supposed to meet on a Friday, everyone would just like get too tired to like come together or to people there was usually a lack of drive or or something like oh. so let it be other day so they noticed it so that was why they called it ojoeti which is like the day of delay or postponement etsy and sing because you are pushing it forward you are like change you're moving it forward so like i said it is a troublesome day and we believe that projects or businesses that have begun on this day might end up not being successful so we don't start important businesses or go on important journeys on this day so you don't want to like i don't know start a new business on this day it's just not the appropriate day for for that it is a day that is synonymous with postponement so important tax should be pushed forward or postponed wait till monday to start your business those starts on a friday so chief chief tenancy type titling ceremonies were the only important events that take place on this day so um so another people another set of people believe that ojoeti anything you start on ojoeti ma t t means if you make your hair for example and the hair is like six weeks six weeks old if you make braids and the braids is six weeks old it won't just be like appealing anymore you know it would be old so we believe that if you some people at least most people believe that if you start your businesses or many people not most many people believe that you start your businesses on this day it will kind of not be the way you take your braids out when they're old you kind of have to 
like close the business or whatever but uh, it will just be it will just be there there like it won't be appealing or it won't be so omar t it would get pretty old quickly and you you might not get as like you might not make as much profit from it as you would have hoped you would the next day is saturday ni ojo yi aba is plan or decision da ba make a decision or make a plan meta is three so and this is the day of the elders in the occult sense you know so they usually made plans and decisions on this day and they probably still do i don't know whether to punish someone or bless someone so it's a day of like the elders let me just leave it at that if something bad or sad happens on this day, death in a family, for instance, and the right consultations and offerings are not made, a misfortune of that nature will happen the third time. So there would be one death after another. Also, most importantly, the dead are not buried on this day. And even if they are being buried at this like day and age, they should not be buried. You're not supposed to be buried on this day except they were extremely old before they died because if they are buried on a saturday death will occur thrice so there would be more deaths more deaths would follow burials are postponed till the next day fridays and saturdays are synonymous with postponements and delays so so um so it's a very delicate day as you can see uh to round up this video because i know it's getting like really long before you do a wedding and it could be on a monday tuesday well the tuesday like i said some people would would prefer not to get married on a tuesday some people would some people believe that when you get married on a tuesday because it's the day of victory the issues that you're supposed to have in the marriage would would be solved like so the marriage would be problem free and some people believe that the marriage will be dissolved because it would be considered a battle that has been dissolved so that tuesday one i'm not sure of so you can or cannot omit tuesday depending on the path of the belief that you follow so if you do if you want to do a wedding whether you're planning for it to be a monday tuesday thursday or sunday know the or orisha day that it falls on if it is jakuta jakuta is shongo's day of the week or that of ogun there would be too much conflict in the marriage so much so that the separation would be very very likely it is better not to even get married during Ose Orisha, a day to day of the week, so the man and the woman can bear children as a couple. So, make consultations before you do like important things in your life. Please, know what day it's going to fall on. Know whether it's going to be good or not. Know was like I know today is um I, th I don't know maybe it's Ose Shongo day. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to say. But I think someone posted it. One of my friends on Instagram posted it. So I'm not sure. But I think so. Like this would be this Friday. Well, being even a Friday again. I, I'm talking on a Friday. I don't know if I'll, I'll be uploading this video on a Saturday or a Friday. It's not a good day to get married. Like even if it was a Thursday. It would not be a good day to get married. If it was or say Shongo because there would be like too much conflict in the marriage so know what you're doing before you do it on a certain day or know the certain day before you you're going to do whatever you want to do and two the same applies for starting a business mondays are usually be the best for starting businesses but tuesdays and thursday thursdays are not bad as well also know the or that it falls on if it happens to be or say far or say or shum, things would most likely go smoothly so if it is ifa if it is or shum, if it is probably even or say aj or say yemoja or say know the know the energies that you're going to be working with okay okay so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it um if i need to add anything later on i would uh, probably put it in the description or make a comment and include it there or make a second a second part of this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe i'm trying to work on this channel 
please 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 subscribe thank you enjoy the rest of your day bye bye